Thank you for listening. I am Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss 21, with Chicago's number one underground comedian, Apollo Taj Mahal. We appreciate it, guys. If you like the interview, and I know you will, be sure to go ahead and listen to the full episode. You can find it on our website, didyousseethatshit.com, YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, pretty much wherever you find your favorite podcast. Be sure to listen to the whole episode. We appreciate it very much, guys. Right now, I want to welcome Liam McGarry. Uh, Liam McGarry is a Bellator light heavyweight fighter. What's going on, Liam? I'm just cooking my dinner. (laughs) Yeah, there's a little bit of a time difference here, man. Uh, Where are you? I'm in Chicago. Where are you at? New York. Okay, so yeah, there's uh, just a couple hour difference there. You're eating, you're eating dinner kind of early, aren't you? Three o'clock, mean that late. I, I literally got off the train to do these interviews, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing interviews as I, as I, I only, I've only just took my shoes off. <laughs> well, you're a man of uh, many talents. I'll be quick for you. It's been a while since we've seen you in, in the Bellator cage, man. Uh, you know, uh, since May of 2017. What could we expect from you, man, in your fight against Narov? Expect me to be the same person I was in the tournament. Violent and fucking dealing with people the way I need to deal with them. In your last fight, you uh, you looked like you were holding a little bit back. Did you just have a rough camp, or what was going on with you on that night? Uh, there was just stuff going on. Uh, there was just stuff going on. That's all. <laughs> Because I personally, I think you're one of the the five best light heavyweights in the world when you're on, and I'm hoping that we're going to get to see the Liam McGeary of just a few years ago when you were the champion. That's exactly what you're going to get. I'm back to being angry. I'm back to being pissed (laughs) off. I'm back to being mean and, yeah. That's the guy. You are going to see me. Yeah, the the bad one. The guy that submitted Tito Ortiz, right? Yeah, even even before that. The guy that violently bust up that whatever his name's face. With knees and elbows and punches and I think your striking is one of your uh, your best assets. The way that you're able to use your range is very impressive. Is that something that you continually work on, or are you just do you feel like your striking is so good that you're trying to catch up your other areas of your game? No, I mean you can't. See, that was my problem. I got complacent. You know, um, I wasn't. I got in a, I got the belt, and I felt, oh yeah, I can just sit back, and it was wrong, you know. It was, uh, it was ignorant of me to think that way, uh, and, I, and I got punished for it, you know. Phil Davis punished me, punished me for it, uh, and I, lessons, man, lessons to be learned, right? And, and you, you have to learn these lessons the hard way, because otherwise you ain't gonna learn, you know. If you, if you just keep going there too easy, then you just think everything's easy, you know. So I learned the hard way, and now I have to do, so now I have to do what I need to do to get back into it. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's the that's the right attitude. And you know, Liam, uh, with the Bellator, the heavyweight Grand Prix going on, that's you know, obviously, that's taken a lot of the headlines. Mitrione is going to be fighting against Nelson. Second time they've gone at it on that card. A lot of guys like McDonald, they've kind of toyed with the idea of throwing their name as a reserve. Would would you ever consider fighting uh, in the in the heavyweight Grand Prix as a reserve if it ever came to it? Um, to be honest with you, mate, no, because they didn't ask me. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to fucking back them up if they, if they went, oh, we need a favor. You know, it's, it's, you didn't even offer me the chance. I mean, plus the fact that I had my hand in prior to cast, so that was another reason why I never got offered or never got told about it. So, no, nah, man, I'm just going to enjoy the, 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 the Grand Prix like everyone else is a fan. You know, there's some top names in there, and um, let them fight. Liam, the MMA scene in the UK, it's really thriving nowadays. Can you speak to just how you kind of got to watch the whole thing grow? Mate, there's always been guys over in uh, in England. Um, I was just I was just one of them that just kind of this. I, I was a traveller, you know, and I, and I got offered to come over to America, and I and I came to America just because I like to travel, you know. There's lads that work hard. There's some tough, good lads in these gyms, the gyms that nobody even knows about, you know. And, and it's great this is to see that these guys are now getting the chance to come over here. All well, the shows that have been put on are a lot better than what they were when I started. So, I mean, I didn't bubble with any of the shows in England, but I'm, I'm going back home uh, to watch my friend fight on the, on the 8th of March in, the, in that Bama. You know, Bama's been, uh, Bama's been like, they do side-by-side with Bellator, you know, so that they're, they're definitely starting to make uh, make a lot of progress. And it's awesome that, that now, finally, the UK is, is catching up with, with America in the regards to MMA and, and the knowledge of MMA. 
Yeah, definitely. Uh, and Bellator, they have a very uh, big presence in the UK the last several years. And in 2018, they've already announced more dates than they've ever you know, gone to Europe. The, the presence that Bellator has in Europe, it's bigger than even the UFC, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and good, you know, they, they, they should capitalize on it, you know. U, UFC have concentrated on America and Americans, uh, American audience, you know. It, the rest of the world has uh, has an appetite for fights. We all have an appetite for fights, you know, and, and Bellator have done well to capitalize on that. Um, me being European, I wish I, I wish I was pushed a little bit more forward with that, but what am I going to do about it, you know? It's, uh, it is what it is. Absolutely. Well, uh, is there anything else that you'd like to add, Liam? No, no, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let you go eat, man. I appreciate your time. I'm excited for your fight at Belter 194 this weekend. I think uh, we're going to get to see the, the old Liam McGarry again. Yeah, you are. Thank you, Enjoy sir. Enjoy the show. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Thanks, bro. <laughs>